I am so sick of telling you about outdoor design without explaining it. It dawned on me that I need to explain our process because if you understood it, you would want to stop daydreaming about your backyard and start seeing your backyard. Take you on a little journey through my process and what I see before a job even starts to let you see what it can be. It's over in Southwest Portland. Very beautiful property up on the West Hills. He wants a ton of work done and wants it done fast, just like everybody. So here we go. And I really want you to understand the process because I've been doing it for so long that I can go to a backyard and be able to point to where things should go. Now the process that I'm describing to you is the same for you no matter where you live. If we're to talk over the internet, basically via Zoom, I could see your property. And what I would do is send you over a request for videos, request for photos, and then I can even see it from the satellite. I can pretty much, and my team can pretty much design the space for you right there on Zoom. And I'm gonna show you three jobs that we've done that I did a walkthrough on. As I look at something, I'll say, this is where it goes. This is what should happen. And you're gonna see that for your own landscape. And this is our 3D design process. He wants a ton of work done and wants it done fast, just like everybody. So here we go. This fence and gate, they want to get rid of that. They hate this tile. They don't mind the brick right here, but they hate the tile. What he was thinking of is starting a fence right there and then doing a double gate right here is their entrance. Uh, we'll have to figure out a material to put for the hardscape of this whole courtyard because he really doesn't like it at all. And want pretty much all the plants out, concrete out, the front entrance out. Basically, this is a complete redo and he would like honestly to uh, make this it's such a big front courtyard that we would like to use it for overflow entertaining so maybe even water feature you know, um, definitely want to do some like benches some seating area uh, but maybe even a fire feature out here where people can kind of gather around and enjoy i'll let you play with that so as i'm talking in these videos and i'm showing my designers what's going on I'm showing it to the designers and they're using this to be able to see how the flow of the space is gonna be and how to see and where to put all of the aspects of the things that you want in your outdoor living space. On this side, they were hoping to be able to come down and have a walkway down the side of the house. So basically we'd have to get rid of this beautiful rhododendron, which is sad, but uh, we just have to do it. And then basically I'll show you from the back side, but this would have to have a stairway going all the way down the side of the house to access the backyard. So of course we'd have to do a fence there and a gate. I'm going to cruise to the backyard now. I'm going to take you right to the side. So this property goes down pretty far to the street, uh, but it's extremely sloped. He wants all of this cleared and then what you'd like to do is create a really cool outdoor living space. So we definitely do tongue and groove on the deck and then, uh, you know, kind of create a really cool space here. So uh, this tile comes out, you know, we are looking at maybe even walling this in, creating a sweet fireplace with a TV that will actually be able to swivel spiral staircase. Ideally right here. I just don't know if we can, with the proximity to the property line. We wanted to do, you know, a fire pit out here. That might look cool. Um, and then they were hoping to do a really cool dramatic water feature. So a lot to think through. Obviously they want a lot of hard surface. Here's where we do that walkway down the side of the house. And then down underneath, we want to update the railing down there as well. So that all would come out. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. So take a look at the way these 3D images that we created match the finished job. Now the beauty of this is that as we show you the 3D, you're seeing it in the future. Basically you can tweak it until it's exactly what you want and then we can with confidence know that that's the way it's going to look with it when it's installed. Thank you.
Okay, now take a look at this smaller job. It's just a simple little structure with a fireplace, but look at what we had to work with. Here we go. It's only a little tiny space that we're actually designing, so it's a backyard only design. And the space that we're designing is just right here. So what we were thinking, covered structure attached to the house here. And we're gonna bring it out. We were thinking about just bringing the covered structure out to about right here. You can kind of see that roof line. Now, I don't necessarily want to attach it to that structure. I don't want to have anything come that far. We were thinking about maybe doing a pergola through that to kind of come out to this other space. But basically, it looks like it would just be an A-frame right here. It seems like that that would be the best. Could be a lean-to, I guess. Just the style, no. I think an A-frame would be the best. So find a spot where we can do an A-frame there. You know, I'm hoping it could be just right here. But I, I'll let you determine that. And then bring it out, not very far, but then we want to do a double-sided fireplace on the outside of that. The plane that I'm thinking of is here. So that would be the beam of the structure and then the fireplace would be off of that. So you'd have a little area on the inside of the fireplace and then you'd have a little patio on the outside. Now I want to let you see here how closely the 3D design matches the finished product and that's definitely what we can do for you. Okay, one of my favorite properties, one of my favorite clients that I've ever worked with is the Stalker property. Take a look at what we came up with here as I did a, vir a virtual tour here and let you see kind of what was in my mind as we were talking about it and then what we came out with. Enjoy. As we start off here, I'm gonna take you to the back first. This to me is horrible, it needs to go. I would love the transition into like a paver walkway here something like in Mega Arbel he really likes the Mega Arbel Victorian so we'll just you know have a, a pathway over I'd like to stop it just because he wants to keep some of the concrete stop it right there at the end of the house uh, a bro that broken edge Mega Arbel I'm gonna turn around though and show you do a covered structure and it's gonna come out, I replace a kitchen. And that will all be in that kind of that covered area. Underneath that structure, we're gonna make it that Mega Arbel Victorian. And then, depending on how far that comes out to, let's say it comes out to like right here, we need to figure out a good transition over to this pond. By the way, we're gonna demo this whole pond. He's gonna take the fish out, uh, and we're gonna change this whole flow. Would love to have the waterfall start up this way and cascade down this way more to be just nicer from the house and from the kitchen uh, but maybe a little bit more elevation on that side too and that'll cascade down 
And we'd like to get a much larger pond because these fish are just outgrowing this pond right here. Now, he wants to keep the design that we're doing within this rock work here. So as we see this beautiful area, I just to me it just calls for a, a fire pit with the seat wall. So I'd like to see that or at least play with that in the design. And again, I think the Mega Arbel Victorian will be great. Um, and then maybe some sporadic boulders. This is a little linear to me. So maybe kind of play with some gradual uh, boulder transitions into that big pond area. I'd love to do another matching kind of walkway here with Mega Arbel Broken Edge. And this is gonna all come out in the stonework. So, you know, I think the Broken Edge Mega Arbel to kind of a Mega Arbel landing and then up the stairs is kind of what I'd like to see. so much here on design i would strongly encourage a 3d design and here's a whole nother video on a 3d design process i already shot it it'll really dive in deep on what you get when you hire us to build a 3d design for you enjoy thank you for watching